In this video, we can see an actual simulated process screen print done with color separations generated by the Inkseps.com simulated process color separation app. So to get started here, and this is going to be a straightforward, pretty easy separation for Inkseps because of the colors that are in it. And we're going to print on black without the black. But first, I want to export my art as a PNG file that I can load into the Inkseps app. So I want to select that and then hit Control E. Now you could be in Photoshop, Illustrator, just about anything. The new folder two, I'll call this Lion. And then I'll just go ahead and export that. Not going to need transparency, not going to need anti-aliasing. Very important, especially if you have text in your design, you don't want anti-aliasing. This is all two sides, it's the correct. DPI or PPI based on how I set it up in Corel and I'll select OK. And that will send that out. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my Inkseps app. And I'll bring that up. Now here under Smart Color Merge, this will cause the colors to merge to the nearest color based on color density from 1 to 5%. Now anything that's over 5% color density is going to be auto-merged to its nearest color. Now we're working on an update, so it'll auto-merge to the color that has the most color density as opposed to the closest color, but right now it's set to the closest color. Go over here and I'll open this up, I'll get the lion, and I'll open that. That'll process my separations basically instantaneously. I've got the red, I've got the yellow, I've got the green, there's the black, and there's the white, even though it looks black. And there is my original, and there's my preview. Now looking at this, I'm ready to go. So I'll just go to download. I understand and continue with download, and I'll download that. First ink steps will prepare the file for me. Once that's done, I can select OK, and the file will have been downloaded. Now I'm going to go back to my Corel Draw, go to my Advanced Tools Docker, and click on Simple Steps, and that will bring up my Simple Steps. I'll select OK. I'll bring this over here. I'm going to go to Ink Steps. I'll go to Search. That's going to take me to Downloads. If you need to, you can just go to Downloads here. I'll select the lion separation zip, click on open. And I'll click on import color separations and that will bring my color separations into Corel Draw as perfect monochrome bitmaps. Once that's done, I'll go to color management, click on create selection palette, select all right here, one click conversion. That'll change my monochromes to spot colors so I can generate my separations. I'll go to separations. I'm going to go with a tinted white base. I'll go to the white base and I'll have that as tinted. I'm going to choke the white base halftones so that they can't have any dot gain that will affect the contrast of the black because I'm not going to print the black. I'm also going to interlock the yellow because it is blending with the red to give us the orange in here. Once I've got that all set up, if I want to set up dot gain, I could do that. If I want to change my LPI, I could do that. Change my ripping options to 1500. And then I'll just go generate separations. I can also set up my black output down here. Generate separations and let simple steps process my simulated process color separations into halftones in Corel Draw for me. Once simple steps is finished processing my color separations, I'll be on the halftone preview page in Corel Draw. Now we can zoom in here and see our halftones and the interlocking of the yellow, which gives us correct ink coverage as opposed to printing dot on dot. If you're printing dot on dot, then either the red or the yellow would be stepping on each other. And that's why you see a lot of these simulated process prints that need a lot of different colors. But using the interlocking strategy, we can print with less colors working with our ink steps color separations. Now, these halftone separations don't look very good in Corel Draw, and that's because of the way Corel renders or makes a preview of 
the halftone one bit images in Corel. And we can also see that some of our black is stepping on the color. Now that's because I wasn't going to print with black, so I didn't do anything with it relating to working with interlocking or an interlocking and rosette halftone hybrid. So here I'll select the black, make sure I got my pick tool here. I'll get that black and I'll delete that. And I'll go here and I'll go to bitmap my halftone preview. That'll make that to an RGB. It'll look much better. I'll zoom out and I'll go to the smart fill tool and I'll just click on that. Now that's set to specify the fill is black. Right click on that, order, and I'll go to back of page. And I can see how I'm going to look on a black shirt without printing the black. Now when you're printing without the black, a lot of times that has to do with the amount of black contrast that's in your graphic or in your image that you've color separated. Sometimes it won't work, sometimes it will. I'll click Control A here to select everything, bring this over. We can come over here and take a look at the original and we can see that we are dead on to the original with our simulated process color separations half-toned in Corel Draw. Now on Inksteps.com there's an importer for Corel Draw and there's also actions for importing into Adobe Photoshop. And then we'd have our color separations on our different pages as halftones in Corel Draw. I'm going to go back to Inkseps. And here from Inkseps, we'll want to be aware that we can download the importers here on the front page for free or under the download links. You'll want to go through the video tutorials. I cover a number of different types of color separations as well as how to use the Inkseps app. And you can see all of that here. We also have a section of articles, and these are very important for understanding things like color models, working with simulated process color separations, half tones and how they work, half tone screen printing, interlocking half tones, dot gains, color components, things like that. And you want to go through all of these free resources on the inkseps.com website. So, just a quick tutorial on working with the inkseps color separations, how to get everything set up, export your art to be ready to function in the Inkseps app, and then how to bring those back into Corel and work with simple steps. And you can also bring them into Photoshop with the Photoshop actions. Go ahead and wrap here, and we'll see you in our next video.